Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma. I'm really really hoping you guys cannot hear the dryer going behind me right now. I'm so excited for this video, it has been super highly requested and I did film something like this pretty much, it actually must be just about exactly two years ago my first year of university. A lot has changed since then so I'm here to share with you guys my organization tips as a third year university student. To give you guys a bit of background if you're new here and you have not met me before. Um, my name's Emma, what's up? But I am a third year communication studies student double majoring in marketing and digital business at Waikato University here in Hamilton. These organisation tips are coming from a place of a, I'm a full-time student but I'm also a part-time employee so I work roughly 15 to 20 hours a week um, at my part-time job. I would consider myself a fairly organised person and I feel like I kind of have to be considering how busy I am with work and uni. Some of these things I'm going to share with you guys are things that I did last year in my second year of university which helped a lot and then I've kind of molded them into what I now do. Before we jump into the video I want to say a huge massive thank you to Daniel Wellington for sponsoring this video. They have so kindly and generously gifted me some pieces which I'm going to show you guys. So first up we will start with this watch. So this is brand new, fresh off the press, hot, hot off the fresh hot, is it hot off the press or fresh off the press? It is from their brand new Mother of Pearl collection which is launched just in time for Mother's Day. The watches are absolutely stunning, there are nine different watches to choose from on their website currently with different sizes, different faces, um, different straps. Um, I'm wearing the Petite Rogue watch in 32mm and I love these watches because the dial on them is like iridescent and so it captures the light differently which is amazing. Every single watch has a unique dial on it which is so beautiful. The detailing as well with the needle is all rose gold which complements this pink band so perfectly. This necklace here is also from Daniel Wellington which they also so kindly gifted to me. This is the Elan Unity necklace and I'm wearing it in gold and it is so beautiful. And also if you've seen my Instagram story you would have heard me raving about this. I bought this one myself from Daniel Wellington because I've obviously had their products before and know how amazing they are so I bought this as a little belated birthday present to myself but I want to show you anyway because it matches the necklace and the watch but this is just the classic rings with Daniel Wellington um how would you like not etched like imprinted into it it's very classy I like it a lot the new mother of pearl collection has come out just in time for mother's day so perfect gift for your mum or if you want to treat yourself too that works just as well um, I was on the phone to mum last night and I like was telling her about this and I sent her a photo and she's like oh that's quite nice so I think I might just put this back in the box and give it to mum for Mother's Day, not gonna lie. If you want to get a little cheeky discount on any of these items, you can use my code Emma Stevens. I'll pop it on the screen here for you guys, um, using the link in the description box below, and that'll get you 15% off. I'm not gonna lie, I did use my own code to buy this, so can confirm it's great. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump straight into these organisation tips. First things first, this is something which I have been very against for a number of years and that is using your phone or laptop calendar. I just never have been a fan of it to be honest. I don't know, I just I just found it like really annoying to access and use. But that has changed in 2022. We are a changed woman. Not really, but we now use our laptop calendar. How I do this is I go into my calendar and I add my recurring events. So my classes that are always at the same time, my work that's roughly at the same time, any events that I have that like later in the evenings or weekend commitments, I set those up as recurring events so every week they're going to pop up in my calendar so I know exactly what's happening week by week. So that gives me like a really solid base to be like this is what I have to do, what I have to attend, where I need to be and then I can work around that um, with the other tasks that I have like assignments, studying, I don't know what else you do when you're a student. Step two is to add your weekly tasks to a to-do list. So this can be on paper, this can be on your computer. I kind of do a combination of both, but recently I've been leaning towards the reminders app on my laptop and my phone because it all like syncs up. To be honest, I'm still deciding if I'm much of a fan of it. I like the calendar thing. I haven't really been a huge fan of it. I don't know, it's warming up to me. It's it's convenient so that's great. How I use the reminders thing is I open it up and I have like a tab set up for each university paper and basically it just means that all of my to-do lists are separated so that it like makes it seem more attainable when I don't have to look at it as one big whole intimidating to-do list. And you can also set due dates for yourself on when things need to be done by. I find that really good for keeping track of what's happening with my assignments like if something's 
due, I might like break it down into certain tasks and be like, okay, I have this assignment due, but I need to do this, this, and this before I get the whole thing done. And so I'd break them down into smaller tasks and set little deadlines for myself to make sure that I'm getting eventually to the finished assignment. Um, and I don't know if other universities do this, but at my university, most of the time, lecturers will put up a like to-do list or like tasks for the week prior to the week starting, if not like on a Monday. So on Monday, I'll sign into like our portal and I'll see what is required for each paper. And then I'll carry those tasks across to my to-do list to make sure they get done. I know not everyone does their readings, but I do okay. So I add those sorts of things to my to-do list um, to make sure that I am not forgetting anything. And then as, the, as I do those things, I can tick them off and it is so satisfying, especially on the reminders thing when you like tick it off and it like disappears, you never have to see it again. So once I have like my weekly to-do list tasks all set up in my reminders, I can then allocate time for those tasks in my calendar. So this is step three. So open up your calendar, open up your reminders, and allocate time of how long you think it'll take you to complete each task. If it's gonna be like a big chunky task, it's gonna take you hours upon hours to do, as university typically does. You can break that down obviously into small tasks and be like, I'll do an hour on Monday, an hour on Wednesday, an hour on Friday, do a little bit over the weekend and then be ready to submit it by the following week. I find that if I don't allocate time for each task, I get overwhelmed thinking, do I even have enough time to do this? So when I allocate the time in my calendar, I can be like, all right, I'm working at nine o'clock till 10 o'clock and then I'm gonna spend an hour and a half doing these lectures. Then I'm gonna work on my assignment that's due, have a little bit of a lunch break, like it just, makes everything seem so much less daunting. I find when I don't, yeah, when I don't write things down or schedule them in, I'm like, I just put on the back burner, I'm like, it's not gonna get done, I don't have time. But when you actually schedule time for it, you're like, oh, I actually do have time. Also, the great thing about the calendar on your laptop or on your phone is that you can like drag and drop your little event thing. So currently, for example, I had it in my calendar to film this video between quarter past 10 and 11. It is now 11 o'clock, so my task after this is obviously going to be pushed back a little bit, but that's fine because I can just drag it and drop it and she'll be right. And then there is a little bonus step here, which I mean, you don't have to do, or you could kind of switch it around and I don't know. Anyway, bonus little step is to transfer your task to a little paper diary a planner a journal of some description so that you can actually see it on paper as much as i am shifting to my laptop calendar i do still like to use a paper diary to do lists of some description this diary is great because it has like a schedule section and a to-do list section so in the schedule section i put the things that i have to do like my work and my university classes and then my like to-do list, like tasks that if I get to, they're scheduled in my calendar for I don't get to them today, it's not the end of the world. They go in my little to-do list section so I can actually tick them off as I go and keep track of that and actually have it sitting in front of me like at all times. Um, well not at all times, I don't go to bed with it sitting in front of me, but like you know what I mean. Hopefully that was helpful, I actually should have gone back and looked at what I said in my previous video, but then again I don't really want to know what I said because I don't know if I condone what Emma said two years ago. This is how I organise myself now, hopefully that is helpful. I feel like it's pretty simple and straightforward and just making sure that you allocate time for everything that you need to get done. I know as students and most students I feel are part-time employees or full-time employees of some description but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much to the amazing team at daniel wellington for sponsoring this video again you can use my code emma stevens for 15 percent off site wide but yeah apart from that if you made this around the video comment a watch emoji how fitting and i will see you guys in my next video that's no can't say